Osteosarcoma is, um, and there's actually two types of bone cancers, osteosarcoma and Ewing sarcoma. They're similar in many, many ways. Um, typically, they affect adolescent kids. Um, the main age is between 2 and 15. I'm, I'm sorry, 10 and 15. Um, we've had as young of a child as 2, and then they go up to 18, 19 years old. It doesn't discriminate race. There's no rhyme or reason. Um, black, white, Hispanic, Asian, boy, girl, it doesn't matter. Um, it has no preference. See, osteosarcoma is actually affects typically the lower limbs, um, the large bones of your lower limbs, your femur and your tibia. Um, Ewing sarcoma is typically in the hips and around the pelvic area in the spine. Obviously can affect other areas, but those are typically the main differences between the two. Both of them are grueling chemotherapy for almost a year's time. Um, all of it's done in the hospital. It's not something you can go home and take a pill and be done with it. It is. Ewing sarcoma is typically sometimes treated with radiation as well. Osteo is typically all chemotherapy and surgery. Surgery is involved in all of them. And osteosarcoma, when it does affect the lower limbs, a lot of times does result in an immediate amputation. So. The process doesn't end after treatment's over. It's a lifelong thing that these kids are going to have to deal with. Um, there's heart problems, there's vision problems, there's hearing problems, there's, just in my case, there's always issues with the surgically replaced limb that, that was um, affected. So these kids are dealing with this for the rest of their lives. Um, I have to have my heart checked every year to make sure the chemotherapy didn't affect my heart. Um, so there's, there's lots of issues these kids are going to deal with for the rest of their lives, even just the diagnosis of cancer being one of them. You know, even if they're 20 years out, they had cancer before.